Oh, it's caught behind. They're all appealing behind the stumps, but umpire Bunzel is giving it out. Took a long time to do it. Calmly stood. And so the Indians lose their second wicket, and Courtney Walsh will be rather grateful for that. Calmly goes after a lively, entertaining innings. Well, you can see Courtney's face there. He was desperate to get that wicket, and Vinod Kamli on the end would be kicking himself. He's done all the hard work, and again, no footwork. He's riding his luck uh, for too long, and this time he was unlucky. He got the edge. So Cambly got 40 from just 39 balls. India lose their sec second wicket. In trouble, now it's in the air. He's gone. He's caught there by Cooper running in from second slip. That was a beauty from Benjamin. Cambly couldn't get out of the way of it. He didn't make a very good attempt to, I thought. So India have lost their third wicket and a crucial batsman in Vinod Cambly. That was, I think, very badly played. He got locked and still. There's a good delivery by Benjamin. Coming straight onto his face and he got himself locked and he didn't know what was happening. And uh, Hooper coming from second slip took a very simple catch. So it is the end of the day. The umpires have taken off the bales and pulled out the stumps. And so the day has ended with the Indian second innings in considerable disarray. They led by 29. Oh, that's Cambly in the air. He could be out. He's under Williams, underneath it. Yes, oh Cambly has gone. He got underneath that, and he skied it down to Longish off. So Cambly has gone for naught. His second successive Test naught. He got a duck in the second innings in Bombay. So that is another important breakthrough there for the West Indies. Absolutely, Henry. I think it was. Bowling round his legs, uh, Cambly moving much too far across. The leg stump has gone for a considerable walk, and Cambly's bad form continues. India have lost their second wicket. I wonder if Courtney Walsh will change the ball now. Look at him, he's running all around the park. It's Vinod Cambly walking inside the line there, exposing his leg stump, and Courtney Walsh making no mistake. Look here, Vinod Kamli walking across the stumps and the ball creeping from behind and taking the leg stump. That's not a sight you see very often in cricket. 24 for 2. He seems to be flailing outside off stump. This time in the air and it's caught. Yes, it's caught in close there. Brilliantly by Simmons. And so Kamli's knock comes to an end with the score at 262 for 5 and that will be a T on the third day and so just 73 runs scored in this session going through from 189 for 3 at lunch to 262 now for 5 and India certainly didn't play here's Benjamin now to Cambly Oh, is that gone? And he's gone. He's out. Campbell is out. We stuck his great weakness. It was short. He didn't get in the right position. He had nowhere to go, and the ball just lobbed up. And that is the third wicket that has fallen this morning. Well, what a day! What a morning for the West Indies bowlers. You see a very short hit ball, and Campbell not being able to get out the way. Ball coming off the handle of the bat, and Simmons taking a simple catch. 48 for four.